Welcome to ChemHelp ASAP. In this video, we'll see a classic example of a Diels-Alder reaction and how Diels-Alder products are so versatile in synthesis. The work in this video was performed by the research group of Professor Margaret Brimble with Dr. Dan Furkert at the University of Auckland in New Zealand. The work was published in the journal Organic Letters. The citation is on the following slides as well as in the video description. At the top of the screen is a single reaction from the paper. This is a Diels-Alder reaction with a diene and dienophile. The reaction includes BF3OET2, boron trifluoride etherate, a Lewis acid that makes the dienophile more electron poor and more reactive. I predict deals all their products through the four steps shown below. Let's see how they work. Step one, make sure that the diene can adopt an S-cis conformation. This diene is already drawn S-cis, so we're good. Step two, regiochemistry. There are many methods for predicting regiochemistry. Here is mine. I find the strongest diene electron donating group. It's the alkyl group. Give that group an imaginary negative charge because it's an EDG and alternate charges through the diene carbons. Next, find the strongest dienophile electron withdrawing group. That's the carbonyl carbon. Give it an imaginary plus charge and alternate charges through the dienophile carbons. Finally, line up a plus end to a minus end and a minus end to a plus. That's our regiochemistry. Step three, endo-exostereochemistry. For this step, I draw the diene with perspective. Now float the dienophile, which is incomplete, underneath the diene. The endo effect favors having R groups with pi bonds, like our ketone, in the back position. The remaining substituents are hydrogens. Step four, use our picture in step three to draw the major product. Four carbons, one, four, five, and six, put all the up groups, all of which are hydrogens, in the up position. The other groups are down. So carbon 1 has our ester, 6 has the ketone, and then hydrogens. To the right are nicer representations. Note that we will get a mixture of both enantiomers from this reaction. Both are endo products. On this slide are some reactions from the Brimble paper. Starting with fairly simple starting materials, one can access new products with rings, predictable stereochemistry, and useful functional groups, carbonyls, alkenes, and halides, for subsequent chemistry, all in a one-step reaction. This is the appeal of the Diels-Alder reaction and why the reaction is so useful. In conclusion, the Brimble group used the Diels-Alder reaction to synthesize cyclic molecules with a variety of useful functional groups. If you want to see more details about this chemistry, then check out the reference on this slide or in the video description. Please subscribe, like, or leave a comment. Take care.